we're gonna go meet moving front and back of the mat. So if you want to like go sideways, you can see. If not, <laughs> there's only two of you. So however y'all wanna go. Like see all three of ya. The world we live in. Yeah, I have been in Florida for a little while. So finally back. Yes, it was super nice. <laughs> but happy to be back in the studio. Um, today we're going to be going, moving around a lot, other mats, um, more of a creative flow as we go. Yeah, if there's anything you ever want to work on too, just always let me know and I can create a flow to it too. But we're going to start on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. Yeah going a little bit backwards today. So bringing the soles of your feet together, your knees out wide and taking a hand to your heart, a hand to your belly. And right here, just taking time to settle into your breath. So taking one deep inhale in through your nose and then open mouth, release that breath out. Another deep inhale in through your nose. And then open mouth, release that breath out. One more deep inhale in, feel your belly rise and hold that breath for four, for three, two, one. Open mouth, release that breath out. Now begin to zip up your lips and use your ujjayi breath, breathing in and out your nose. This will warm you up from the inside out. So deep inhale in, zip up your lips as you exhale down the back of your throat. Always feel free to come back to that open mouth exhale if you need to. So deep inhale in, exhale down the back of your throat. Now inhale as you bring your knees in towards your chest and start to make little figure eights with your low back. So going in one direction and the other, just waking up your spine. And I challenge you today, just focus on how your body feels. What are you experiencing in each pose? Just focusing on being present. Now cactus your arms, cross your right leg over your left. Send your hips over to the right, supine twist over to the left. Gaze over your right elbow. Deep inhale in. Exhale, slowly roll back onto your back and then switch out your legs. So cross your left leg over your right, scoot your hips over to the left, send your knees over to the right, gaze over at your left elbow. Deep inhale and open mouth, release it out. Inhale as you bring your knees back in towards your chest. And then exhale, take happy baby. So grab the outer edges of your feet. Just start to rock side to side, waking up your groin, your hamstrings, your legs. So maybe extend one leg and the other. And lift your tailbone off your mat, get into your low back. Beautiful, deep inhale in. Exhale as you bring your knees into your chest, grab behind your thighs and then start to rock and roll up and down your spine. Yes, gain a little momentum as you massage out your tailbone. And then cross your ankles and meet in a tabletop pose. So right here, stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Now inhale, cow, tuck your toes, drop your belly down, create expansion through your chest. And then exhale, cat pose, untuck your toes, curl your chin in towards your chest. And now staying right here, I want you to shift forward and back, feeling your upper back release some tension. And then inhale, cow, tuck your toes, drop your belly, feel your low back release. Exhale, cat pose, curl your spine. Do two more with your own breath, so inhaling during cow. And then exhaling during cat pose. Final one, inhale. Final exhale, cat. Now take your knees out wide and start to take dancing lions. So big giant hip circles to the right. So coming all the way forward, all the way back. If feel any gook from your hips start to release. 
and start to roll your head with it. So roll your head as you get all those nips and cracks out of your neck. And then once you feel complete on one side, start to go the opposite direction. So big giant circles, opening up your groin. Where can you create a little bit more space in your body today? Deep inhale in. Exhale as you come back to a neutral tabletop pose. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. So right here, start to pedal out your dog, bend deep into one knee and the other. Maybe sway your hips side to side. We will be getting into those IT bands today. So just warming them up by dropping your hips to one side of your mat and then the other. Yeah, and then when you're ready, come to stillness. Now inhale as you gaze forward. Exhale, tiptoe to the top of your mat and take on a ragdoll pose. So option to grab opposite elbows. Option if you wanna interlace your hands behind your back. And option if you wanna interlace your hands at the crown of your head. And start to nod your head, yes. Nod your head, no. And then nod your head, yes, for showing up today. Deep inhale in. Exhale, release your hands down to your mat. Bend deep into your right knee. Plant your right hand in front of your face. And then peel your left arm all the way up towards the sky. Yes, yeah, so the same knee that's bent is hand that's on the ground. And now to shift all your weight to that straight leg. So your IT band option to make a little bind behind your back. Deep inhale. Exhale, switch it out. Opposite hand down to your mat. Opposite arm up towards the ceiling and then shift all your weight to that straight leg. Option to take a bind behind your back. Deep inhale in. Exhale, slowly release down. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and roll up to stand vertebrae by vertebrae. Let your head be the last thing to come up. And then exhale, Samasitihi, bring your hands to heart center. Yeah, roll your shoulders down your back, close your eyes, and start to think about your intention for your practice. I challenge you to focus on your movements, your breath, and understand, acknowledge the experiences you get today within your own practice, or set an intention of your own. We'll set our intention with one cleansing breath, so deep inhale in through your nose. Open mouth, release that breath out. Beautiful, y'all. Open your eyes, release your fingertips down at your side. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms overhead, and then just hold and breathe right here. So ground down through the four corners of your feet and feel your feet rooted into your mouth. Deep inhale. Exhale, hook your thumbs together, side bend to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left, gaze to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, baby back bend, cactus your arms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your hips, let the crown of your head fall heavy. Now inhale, halfway lift. Take your hands to your shin, thighs of the ground. Yeah, feel your hamstrings activate as you internally rotate your legs. Deep inhale. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands, step back, hold here. Now shift your shoulders over your wrists, your hips in line with your shoulders. Drop your right knee down, pivot your toes. We have modified side plank to the left. So take those big giant circles with that top arm. And reach through your entire side body, deep inhale in. Exhale, slowly rise up, slide your left hand down your right thigh, frame your ear with your bicep. Deep inhale in. Exhale, pivot to the back of your mat, half splits. Yep, so same foot that's out. Flex your toes to your nose. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly walk your hands out in front. Option to use blocks right here. Yeah, getting into your hamstrings. And then option to pulse forward and back, opening up your hip flexor as well. Five deep breaths. With every inhale, lengthen. With every exhale, see if you can walk your fingertips a little bit further. Now dial your left hip back, right hip forward. Yeah. Deep inhale in. Exhale, crescent moon. Plant your left foot totally down. Inhale as you rise your arms up. And then hold and breathe right here. 
Yeah, so dial your left hip back, right hip forward. Now deep inhale, exhale, baby back bend, sink your hips even closer to your mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, frame your front foot forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up, sweep your arms overhead, mountain pose. Hook your thumbs together, side bend to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left, gaze to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, baby back bend, practice your arms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands, step back, hold here. Yeah, now shift your shoulders over your wrists. Take your right knee down, pivot your right foot back, modified side plank towards the opposite side. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Now slowly rise up and take your left hand down your left thigh. Frame your right ear with your bicep. Deep inhale in. Exhale, half splits towards the top of your mat. Beautiful. So left foot out in front. Deep inhale in. Exhale, fold forward over that same leg. Should be a little bit different this time around. Deep inhale. Exhale it out. Now drive your foot up. Inhale, crescent moon. One more time. Deep inhale. Exhale, baby back bend. Sink your hips down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up. Sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, baby back bend, cactus your arms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Put your hand step back, hold here. This time, drop your left knee down, pivot your left foot back. Modified side plank to the right. Beautiful. So opposite side, deep inhale, send your hip flexors high. Exhale, slowly rise up and then take your right hand on your right thigh, frame your left ear with your bicep. Yeah, now tuck your right shoulder forward, your left shoulder back. Deep inhale. Exhale, half splits to the top back of your mat. Yes, now you have five deep breaths here. So option to shift forward and backwards right here. Option to walk your foot out in front, placing blocks between your foot. Beautiful, y'all. Whatever your body needs, experience it, listen to it this morning. But with every inhale, lengthen your spine. With every exhale, sink your torso closer to your thigh. Two more breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale, drive your right foot back. Inhale, Anjane Asana, crescent moon. Extend your arms overhead. And then hold and breathe right here. Yeah, so now dial your right hip back, left hip forward. And now look at your knee, make sure it's not passing your toes. If it is, walk your foot forward. And now sink your hips low. So bend deep in that front knee and try to get your hip flexors closer to your mat. Now deep inhale in. Exhale, baby back bend, cactus your arms, drop your hips low. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, drop your hips low, baby back bend. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, mountain sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, baby back bend, cactus your arms. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, last round of this. Drop your right knee, left knee down, pivot to the right side of your mat. So right arm frames your ear, deep inhaling. Exhale, side bend to the right, gaze to the left. Half splits towards the front of your mat. Three breaths here. Two more breaths. One more inhale in. Exhale, Anjane Asana, extend your arms overhead, just warming you up. <laughs> Deep inhale. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands, step back, hold here. 
Now shift forward to your big toes, drop down to your knees, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, cobra, rise up. Put a little no weight in your hands, squeeze your shoulder blades, beautiful, deep inhale. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain sweep your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands, step back, hold here. Now shift forward to your big toes, tuck your elbows in, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, foot to the tops of your feet, straighten your arms. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. We're going to do two more of those with your own breath. So inhaling as you gaze forward, exhaling as you step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale as you come to a halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more with your own breath. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Now flow through one more sun A with your own breath. So inhaling as you gaze go. Exhaling as you step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Forward fold. Next is mountain pose with your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you hide a low plank, chaturanga. Beautiful, Katie. Inhale, up dog. Nice, Michaela. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, sink your hips low. Sweep your arms overhead and then just hold and breathe right here. Yeah, so squeeze your outer thighs in towards center line. Deep inhale and exhale, sink a little bit lower. Deep inhale, sink a little bit lower. Last one, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, hinge forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, runner's lunge, drive through your front heel. Inhale, crescent, rise up. Hold and breathe right here. Yes, so dial your right hip back, left hip forward. And then sink your hips low, pressing your back heel over your toe now. Extend your arms overhead, deep inhale. Exhale, baby back bend, hover your back knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, baby back bend, lower with your back leg. Then drive up through your front heel. Last one, inhale low. Exhale, lift back up. Deep inhale in. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest forward. Yeah, and create that balance right here. So dial your left hip down, toes towards your mat. Inhale, one leg to Tadasana, bring your left knee to your chest. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise back up. We'll do that one more time. So deep inhale in. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest. Inhale, one leg to Tadasana. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Beautiful. Exhale, warrior two, open up your hips. And then hold and breathe right here. Beautiful. So ground down to the pinky edge of that back foot and then bend deep in that front knee. Yeah, drive your front knee towards your pinky toe. Inhale, reverse warrior, take your top arm up and back. Exhale, extended side angle, bring your right forearm to your thigh, frame your ear with your bicep. And then bend deep into that front knee and nudge your right thigh open, opening up your entire side body. You have three deep breaths. Yeah, take up a little bit more space on your mat, Katie. So walk that back foot back. Yeah, now go for it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice for you. One more inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale, high skandasana. So come to the back of your mat, bend deep into your left knee. Now left hand down, right hand up, twist right here. High skandasana, twist. Deep inhale. Exhale, plant your right hand down, left hand up. Beautiful, bend deep into that left knee. Deep inhale. 
Exhale, runners, lunge to the back of your mat. Yes, now inhale, three-legged dog, shoot your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Told y'all we're flowing a little bit. <laughs> we're embracing the messy this morning. So now look at your back pinky toe, make sure it's parallel to the back of your mat. Yeah, and then use your obliques to twist your torso. Deep inhale in. Exhale, extend your right palm out in front of you. Push away any negative energy. Yes, inhale, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior, take your top arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, easy twist. So right hand down, left hand up. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale, skandasana to the top of your mat. So right foot down. You can come all the way down. You can go side to side if you would like. But open up those hips. Option to walk your palms out in front of you. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale, slowly pivot towards the front of your mat. Runner's lunge. Bring your left foot to meet your right forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, chair, sink your hips low. Yes, you're at the top of the sequence. Extend your arms overhead. Sink your hips low. Deep inhale in. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, crescent lunge. Inhale as you rise. Beautiful, so left foot out in front. Driving through that front heel, sink your hips down, press your back kneecap up. Deep inhale. Exhale, baby back bend, cactus your arms, drop your right knee to the ground. Now drive up through your left heel, extend your arms back overhead. Two more, inhale. Exhale, press up. Last one, lower down. Press up. Now airplane, launch your chest forward. Yeah, dial your right hip under. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Bring your right knee to your chest. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest. Step it back, crescent lunge. One more of those. Inhale, exhale, airplane, launch through that front heel. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Use your core. Exhale, airplane. Step it back, crescent lunge. Deep inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up your hips towards the front of our space, yeah. Yeah, now take that front knee and send it towards your pinky toe. Beautiful, y'all. Deep inhale, reverse warrior, take your top arm up and back. Exhale, extended side angle, bring your left forearm to your thigh, bring your right ear and press your elbow into your thigh to open up to your chest. Beautiful, creating one long line from your bottom foot to your top hands. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale, high skandasana to the back of your mat. So bend deep into your right knee. Plant your right hand down, left hand up. Little twist right here. Back to center, left hand down, right hand up. Bending deep in that back knee. Deep inhale. Exhale, pivot to the back of your mat, runner's lunge. Plant your hands, inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, spin your back heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Beautiful, bend a little bit deeper in that front knee. Now deep inhale. Exhale, extend your left pa right palm out in front of you. Left palm out in front of you, y'all. <laughs> yes, press away any negative energy. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, take your top arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, easy twist. So left hand down, right hand up. You have to feel that opening of your hip. With every inhale, lengthen. With every exhale, twist a little bit deeper, detoxifying your entire body. So with every exhale, it releases all new oxygen and blood to your digestive system. Deep inhale. Exhale, skandasana to the front of your mat. So bend deep into your left knee. Option if you want to go side to side, opening up your hips a little bit more. If you want to walk your palms out in front of you. 
Whatever you want to do here, you got two breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale, runner's lunge to the front of your mat. Bring your right foot to meet your left forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, three deep breaths. Two more breaths. Beautiful, y'all. One more inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, take three frog hops to the top of your mat. So walk your feet in, kick your booty up, and try to catch a little bit of air by shifting your gaze between your wrists. And then meet in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, sink your hips low. We're just repeating that one more time. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, step your left foot back, crescent. Inhale, drive through your front heel, rise up. Exhale, baby back bend, lower your back leg. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest forward. Inhale, one leg into Dasna. This time, exhale, funky chair, cross your leg, sink low in those hips. Now, wherever you want to go with this pose today, if you want to take your left hand to your left thigh and then take your right hand to your pinky edge and just open up your hip. Option to do any arm balances or get feeling crazy. Deep inhale. Exhale, come back up one leg into Dasna. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest. Inhale, step it back, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, take your top arm up. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, high skandhasana to the top of your mat. Exhale, right hand down, left hand up. Deep inhale. Exhale, pivot to the back of your mat, runner's lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands, spin your back heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, extend your right palm out in front of you. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, easy twist, right hand down, left hand up. Now, going a little bit further right here, deep inhale. Exhale, horizon lunge. So roll onto the pinky edge. You're just pivoting your toes from forward to the back of the room. Yes, beautiful, Katie. And you'll feel your IT bands light up. Deep inhale. Exhale, lower your hips all the way down. Yeah, inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. One more inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise, skandhasana to the top of your mat. Beautiful. And then runners lunge to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, chair, sweep your arms overhead. Beautiful. Deep inhaling. Exhale, forward fold, hinge forward. Inhale, half. Exhale, step your right foot back, crescent lunge. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale, baby back bend, practice your arms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest forward. Inhale, one leg to Dasna. Exhale, funky chair, cross your leg over. Yeah, now option if you want to press that right thigh down, sink your hips low, but opening up your outer hip on the right. Three breaths. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Inhale, one leg to Dasna. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Yep. <laughs> Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Beautiful. Inhale, high skandhasana to the back of your mat. Right knee bends. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up. High skandhasana twist. Deep inhale. Exhale, runners lunge, pivot to the back of your mat. So right foot out in front. Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, warrior one, rise up. Beautiful. Exhale, press your left palm out in front of you. Sink your hips lower. 
Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Take your top arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Easy twist, left hand down, right hand up. Beautiful. Now deep inhale. Exhale, pivot your toes towards me. Yeah, so right, left side of your neck. And you're on pinky edge of both your feet. So your big toes are both towards the ceiling. Then take your arm overhead. Yeah, beautiful, y'all. Deep inhale. Exhale, lower down. If this is uncomfortable, it means we need to stretch IT bands a lot more. Deep inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Last one, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, skandasana to the top of your mat. Yep, so bending deep into that left knee. Deep inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge to the top of your mat. Inhale, forward fold. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Beautiful. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Three deep breaths. Two more breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, four frog hops to the top of your mat. So again, shifting your shoulders of wrist, you're curling your spine like you're in cat pose, then trying to land as softly as you can, kicking your own booty. <laughs> or optional, take teeny tiny steps to the top of your mat. Beautiful, deep inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, chair, sink your hips low. Beautiful, sink your hips a little bit lower. A little bit lower, all the way down, high boat pose. <laughs> yes, now draw your shoulders away from your ears. Take your hands behind your head, press your skull into your hands. Right elbow to left knee, back to center. Left to right, back to center, alternate here. So make sure your obliques are doing the work. So press your skull into your hand. That way your elbow is not the one moving you for eight. Seven, option to drop each foot down each time. Six, five, four, three, two, and one high bow. And now acknowledge where your body is. If that hurt your hip flexors, that means you need to open them up a little bit more. Stretch a little bit more, y'all. Deep inhale. Exhale, low boat. Hollow out your back. Yes, so I should not be able to fit a piece of paper underneath their back. Yes, now take your feet all the way towards the ceiling. Little pulses up, Charlie. Angel, your fingers pulse up. So using your rectus abdominis to get you higher, gaze to neutral. You have eight, seven, six, five. Gaze up for four, for three, for two. And one, now bend your knees, take your fingers over to the right side of your legs, just pulse, right, right. Squeeze that right oblique for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides, left side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, all the way down in two, and one all the way down, bring your knees into your chest. Woo. Now we just have some dead bug here. So if you have a block, you can use it. It will actually help you a lot. So if you have a block, take your block to your thighs. If you don't, just take your hands to your thighs. <laughs> and you're coming up to a reverse tabletop right here. So knees stacked over your hips. Now opposite arm, opposite leg comes out. Back to center, you're switching it out. Opposite arm, opposite leg, back to center. Now if you have the block doing the same thing. I am not doing this right. It's like patting your back and moving your belly. If you have the block, I want you to do same arm, same leg. There we go. <laughs> Keep your head all the way down. And you'll feel this in your lower abdominal region. There's two versions of this, but it only works with the block if it's same arm, same leg. <laughs> Perfect, Jill. Now, if you don't have a block, I want you to press your hand into your thigh, your thigh into your hands, using same arm, same leg. Beautiful. You have eight, seven, 
seven, six, five, nice, Michaela, four, three, two, and one, release the block, bring your knees to your chest, cactus your arms, do a little supine twist, take your legs over to the left day, to the right. Woo. How are we feeling, y'all? Awesome. <laughs> Deep inhale, exhale back to center, cross your opposite leg over, send your legs over to the right, gaze to the left. Deep inhale, come back to center. Exhale, grab behind your thighs, start to rock and roll up and down your spine. Try to gain enough momentum, maybe pop up into chair pose. Yeah, Katie, there we go, y'all. Beautiful, deep inhale in. Yes, Michaela. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, prayer twist towards the right. So connect your left elbow outside your right thigh. Now options to take your right hand into a fist and press it into your left hand. Grip your left, your right wrist with your left hand. Now gaze over your top shoulder. Sink your hips lower. With every inhale, lengthen through your spine. With every exhale, twist it out. Deep inhale. Exhale it out. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Bring your feet hip width distance apart. Slide your palms underneath your feet. And then bend your knees as much as you need to to do that. Now drop your head low. Stick your tailbone towards the sky. And then start to straighten your legs. Maybe bring your elbows to the sides of your mat. Maybe bend into one knee and the other. Feel your hamstrings. Maybe shift forward and backwards, massaging out your wrists. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale, halfway lift. Keep your feet on your hands. Exhale, fold forward. One more inhale, half. Exhale, fold forward. Release your hands, toe, heel, your feet together to touch. Inhale, chair. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, shift forward. Prayer twist towards the left. So connect your right elbow outside your left thigh. And now option to take your left hand into a fist and then grip that hand with your opposite hand. Now stack shoulder over shoulder, elbow over elbow. Sink your hips low. Deep inhale, exhale, release all new oxygen to your entire lymphatic system. Deep inhale in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, one leg into Dasna. Exhale, funky chair. Now, if you wanna get a little bit further into this pose, you can try planting your hands on the ground or a block, bending into that knee. Option to grip the heck out of your right tricep with your left toes. Bend at your elbows, and then maybe start to shift forward, finding a little arm balance. Maybe start to extend your right leg out and find flying pigeon. Whatever your practice is today, y'all. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale, come back up one leg at Tadasana. Then exhale, set up for dancer by grabbing the insole of your left foot. Keep your right arm all the way up. Deep inhale, exhale, kick back dancer's pose. So gaze out in front of you. Look at something not moving and continue to kick into your hands. I want you to pay attention when you start to feel wobbly, where does your mind go? And that's what yoga is. It's releasing the expectation that you have to look picture perfect all the time and just be and experience your practice. Deep inhale. Exhale, release that foot. Bring your left knee back to your chest. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest. Inhale, crescent, and extend your arms overhead. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Last one on this side. So option if you want to take a bind say, by taking your right hand under your thigh, but then pull your hands closer to your buttocks. Gaze over your top shoulder. Option to do birds of paradise. 
Yeah, but don't force anything in your practice this morning. Go to where your body needs it. Yeah. And then Katie, move your back foot back again. There we go. Now sink a little bit lower in those hips. Yes. Now I want you to drop your top shoulder back, your front shoulder forward. Wow. Big adjustment. <laughs> Beautiful, y'all. Deep inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale, high skandasana to the top of your mat. Exhale, plant your right hand down, left hand up. Little twist in the high skandasana. Exhale as you pivot foot to the back of your mat, runner's lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, warrior one. Spin your back heel down. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale, extend your right palm out in front of you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Now inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach up and back behind you. Exhale, triangle pose, hinge forward, and then down, pressing your left hand into your shin or your thigh, or you can press it into a block. Now tuck your left hip underneath you, your right hip back. Option to take a bind behind your back. I sprained my ankle, so I can't do this one. Beautiful, y'all. Two deep breaths, feel your groin open up. Beautiful, Priya. Deep inhale. Exhale it out. Perfect. Now pivot down, right hand down, left hand up. Easy twist. Exhale, horizon lunge. Roll onto the pinky edge of those feet. Yeah. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, rise, skandasana to the top of your mat. Beautiful. Now walk your hands back behind you. Wild thing. Plate your right hand down. Bring your left arm all the way up. So straightening that entire leg. Bending deep through your right knee. Little back bend here. Deep inhale. Exhale. Slowly lower down. Take your right foot inside your left thigh. Deep inhale. Extend your arms overhead. Exhale. Fold forward over that left leg. Whew. How y'all feeling? <laughs> all over our mats today two deep breaths deep inhaling exhale slowly rise up plant your right hand behind your right glute come up to a modified side plank pivoting your right foot behind you take big giant circles option if you want to plant your hand down trying to take that bind with your back foot it's opening through your heart two deep breaths Deep inhale in. Exhale, release that left foot, left hand. Tuck your back toe. Inhale, three legged dog, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Beautiful. Exhale, baby back bend, cactus your arms, hover your knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, airplane launch forward. Inhale, one leg into Dasna. Exhale, funky chair. Notice as you go into different poses, how it feels the first versus the last time. The more you experience and really get into the pose, the more you get out of it. The more you let it open your body, open your soul. Option to take any arm balance or anything you need here. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Inhale, one leg at Dadasana, bring your right knee to your chest. Exhale, set up for dancer's pose. So if you need to reset, that's okay too. But grab that right sole of your foot and then deep inhale. Exhale, leave a little bend in that standing leg as you kick up. Getting into that groin, that hip flexor. Yeah, dancer's pose on your right. Beautiful. Three deep breaths. Two more breaths. Deep inhaling. Exhale, release that leg. Inhale, one leg into Dasana. Bring your right knee to your chest. Exhale, airplane, launch your chest. Inhale, step it back, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Option, you have five deep breaths. Option if you want to take a bind. If you want to take a half bind behind your back, or if you just want to get a little bit deeper into this pose, just sinking more through that front leg. 
sometimes it's important to just go back to the basics. Option to take your left palm in front of your left foot and just open up. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale, high skandhasana to the back of your mat. Bend deep into your right knee. Left hand down, right hand up. Feel that groin open up. Deep inhale. Exhale, runners lunge to the back of your mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, super right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Bend deep in that knee. Exhale, extend your left palm out in front of you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach up and back behind you. Exhale, triangle pose, hinge forward and down. Always an option if you want to grab a block and place it in the front or back of your ankle. But I don't want this to be an active pose, but really just opening up your right hip flexor. So really pivot your right hip forward, your left hip back. Option to take a bind behind your back. Two deep breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale, bend deep into that front knee. Runner's lunge, plant your left hand down, right hand up, easy twist. Deep inhale. Exhale, horizon lunge. Lower all the way down as you inhale. Exhale, rise up, skandhasana to the front of your mat, bending deep into that right knee now. Beautiful, and then come all the way back behind you. Walk your hands back behind you. Option to come into wild thing. So opening up your heart, bending and driving through that leg, coming into a little back bend here. It's almost like a wide, wild thing. So if you wanna try this, coming all the way down, taking your hand behind you, opening up your groin. Deep inhale. Exhale, bring it all the way back down. Take your left foot inside your right thigh. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly hinge over that front foot. Whew. Beautiful, y'all. Two deep breaths. One deep inhale in. Exhale, slowly rise up. Plant your left hand behind your glutes. Bring it up to that wild or to modified side plank. Option to grab that back foot and kick your foot into your hands, opening up through your quad. Deep inhale in. Exhale, release that foot, release your right hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your dog. Feel the difference between your first and last down dog. Now inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the right. Inhale as you sit up straight and tall. Exhale, start to hinge forward. Now release your torso all the way down. Feel your hips start to open. Right here, start to think about how can you enhance your experiences doing those little things, those everyday things throughout your life, like showing up on your mat, the conversations you have, the small talk you have, how can you make it more intentional? Deep inhale in, exhale it out. Slowly rise up to your palms, tuck your back toe, engage your back leg. Inhale, three-legged dog. Option to bend your knee, stack your hip if you want to flip your dog. Go for it, ground down through your heels. You can lift all the way up. Deep inhale and exhale, unflip your dog and meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale, super left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the left. 
Yeah, option to place that block underneath your sacrum, but deep inhale in. Exhale, start to walk your hands out in front of you. Being intentional with your thoughts, with your breath. Can you create a little bit of beauty with the chaos? Acknowledge that that chaos isn't there to take you down, it's there to help you grow. Every experience serves its purpose. Two more deep breaths. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. And then inhale as you rise up to your palms. Tuck your back toe. Gauge your back leg. Inhale, three-legged dog. Option if you want to bend your knees, stack your hips. If you want to flip your dog, go for it. But when you're ready, we'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale as you gaze, folks. Exhale, step, hop, float, however you want to get there to your mat. And extend your legs out in front of you. Lay all the way down on your back. Ooh, how y'all feeling? <laughs> Float a little bit today. Inhale, bring your knees to your chest. And then exhale, happy baby. Just like we started class, feel the difference. Maybe extend one leg in the other. Your pose, your practice day by day might feel different, might look different. But how can you let your practice teach you lessons that you take outside of this room? Inhale as you... Practice your arms, cross your right leg over, supine twist. Drop your knees over to the left gaze, all right. Feel your spine decompress, your lumbar spine release tensions. Deep inhale. Exhale, come back to center and then cross opposite leg over. Scoot your hips over to the left, send your knees to the right. Gaze at your left elbow. Beautiful. And then come back to center. We're going to take a supported bridge pose. So if you guys have a block or pillow at home, you're going to take that block or pillow. You're going to plant your feet down, lift your hips, and just place the block right underneath their sacrum. So right between your butt and your low back. Extend your arms out and feel the release and decompression of your spine. If you ever have low back pain, this is a great, great, great thing to use to help decompress that spine, alleviate any pain. So draw your shoulders away from your ears. Option if you wanna take your palms behind you and open up your chest, go for it. Two deep breaths. Beautiful, deep inhale. Exhale as you slide your block up just a little bit and take your legs all the way towards the sky. If you don't have a block, no worries. Just lift your legs all the way up, or you can take shoulder stand, head stand, hand stand, anything to get your feet above your head. So it circulates all new oxygen, replenishes everything through your body. Also helps if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling depressed. This pose really helps alleviate some of that tension. If you're in shoulder stand, come down to plow. And plow to death man's pose. And then if you're in the waterfall, you're going to plant your feet down, lift your hips, remove your block. And then bring your knees in towards your chest, hug your knees into your head, or give yourself a giant big hug. Appreciate yourself for showing up, for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Deep inhaling. Exhale, Shavasana, lay flat on your mat. Let everything go. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Now shrug your shoulder blades together to touch and then release them down. Shavasana.
Gather experiences and treat them as precious jewels. The purpose of a journey is not to guard and restrain yourself. The purpose is to learn. You do not teach and lead your soul. Your soul leads and teaches you. It takes you wading across streams, strolling through meadows, deep into valleys, and high onto mountaintops. It takes you down winding narrow roads, along fast moving four lane highways, it takes you into tiny cafes, bustling cities, and out of the way hostels where people break bread and tell what they've learned. Let yourself have all your experiences. Don't limit or judge yourself or the adventures you have had. All were necessary, all were important, all have helped shape and form you. Your heart will lead you, guide you where, to, where you need to go. Don't worry about getting lost or off track. Don't worry about being wrong or in the wrong place at the wrong time. Rather gather experiences, go through them, select the gems from each. Listen while each tells their stories, their adventures and shows you the jewels, the truths about what they've learned. And then open your heart and joyfully share what has happened to you along the way. You're ready to move on with the rest of your Wednesday. Start to bring movement back into your body, starting with your breath. So take one deep inhale in through your nose. And then open mouth, release that breath out. And then start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Point your toes towards the front of the room, stretch your arms overhead for a full body stretch. Allowing your body to open up, to feel it, ignite your practice. And then roll over to your right side in fetal pose. So bring your knees into your chest. Use your arm as a little pillow. Pause right here. We end our practice each class in Shavasana, in corpse pose, the death of our practice. Roll into fetal pose to represent rebirth, new beginnings. A chance to acknowledge that having experience is called living. Sharing experiences is called loving. So let yourself enjoy both. Use your left palm, press you up to a seated position facing the front of our space. Roll your shoulders down your back, bring your hands to your heart center and keep your eyes closed. We'll seal our practice today just as we started with one cleansing breath. So exhale all your air out first. And then deep inhale with everything you want to bring with you from today's practice. And then open mouth, release everything you want to leave on your mat today. And take your hands to your third eye center and pause right here. The light, the love, the teacher in me sees, honors, and absolutely adores the light, the love, the teacher in each and every one of you. Continue to sparkle throughout your day today. Namaste, yogis. Namaste. How y'all feeling? Oh yeah, it was. I know. You could you could see my ADD in the in the flow. I was like, ah, my words are coming out fast enough. <laughs> well, you guys did awesome. I felt like moving a little bit today. I hope y'all liked it too. Good job, Michaela. Virtually. Uh, and if you guys ever want to do anything, y'all follow me on Instagram anyways. Just DM me and let me know what you want to work on. Yeah. What did you say? Oh, I thought she was talking. Do you see me like looking like I'm just going crazy? 
Thank you all. Have an amazing Wednesday. Ooh. All right.